ओके गाइस गुड इवनिंग ऑल ऑफ यू विल वेलकम टू द आग लगा देंगे सेशन यस वेयर वी विल बी टॉकिंग अबाउट पीएसएम यस नाउ व्हेन वी टॉक अबाउट पीएसएम प्रोबेबली द बेस्ट फोटो आई कैन एक्चुअली पुट अप इज बेसिकली इज दिस यस व्हेन वी टॉक अबाउट पुष्पा हु सेज फ्लावर नहीं फायर है मैं एंड दैट्स व्हाट आई वुड बी डूइंग टुडे इन द आग लगा देंगे सेशन यस गाइस सो आई होप ऑल ऑफ यू हैव जॉइंड इन and everything is good to go at your end yes yes i am just waiting for the link to start yes great it's good to go at your end okay so just let me open the open chat yes okay fine so i would be taking you through the aag laga denge session where we would be looking into the important images important images from PSM. Yes, guys. Okay. Now we know about this gentleman. Okay, John Snow. Not your John Snow. Yes, it is the John Snow of PSM. Now PSM is a very unique subject because the father of public health is cholera. It is the only subject probably where the father is not a human, rather it is a disease. Yes, guys. Father of epidemiology is Hippocrates. Thus, father of modern epidemiology. is john snow so you should be very careful about this that if they speak about father of modern epidemiology then only mark it as john snow yes cholera he talked about mode of transmission now he had drawn a spot map what is the role of spot map the spot map is basically important for geographical distribution of data yes so spot map use is basically for showing the geographical distribution of data So suppose I want to show the cholera outbreak in London I would draw a spot map yes study design it is a natural experiment now what is a natural experiment it is a non randomized or a quasi experimental study or a quasi experimental study yes guys now shoe leather epidemiology house to house survey so basically he said a good doctor is one who goes house to house and that is why the shoe leather will become torn out so in earlier days we consider used to consider a new a good doctor one whose shoes were torn so that would have been known to indians we would have bought a new shoes and first torn it out that's what we would have done yes yes i hope it's okay okay statistics se dar lagta hai shobit don't worry if you have attended my class in statistics you will be rocking the show don't worry at all yes relax you will have only three questions of statistics from 200 focus on the rest 197 yes guys no problem at all okay jenner this person with curly hairs to some extent jenner gave the first vaccine that is the smallpox vaccine he gave the term vaccination now here comes a con confusion there is one term vaccine vaccine v a c c i n e seven letter word this was given by pasture which is also a seven letter word so the term vaccination was given given by jenner whereas vaccine was given by pasture i hope i'm clear with it no problem okay so this is how you remember the mnemonics for the exam yes louis pasture gave three more vaccines car chicken pox anthrax and rabies now please be careful it is not rubella it is not rubella so it was chicken pox anthrax and rabies yes guys no problem okay sabin look into his hand opv so he was the scientist who gave opv and the other vaccine which he gave was japanese encephalitis vaccine yes so this man was such a good gentleman he did not charge a penny for patenting this opv he gave it just like that yes okay robert cock cox postulus where we use it for tb bacillus details you must be knowing in microbiology yes hansen the guy with the long beard discovery of mycobacterium leprae this was the first time it was identified that a bacteria causes a human disease yes 
सो बैक्टीरिया ह्यूमन डिजीज लेप्रोसी प्रोटोजोआ ह्यूमन डिजीज एनी वन यस एनी वन प्रोटोजोआ ह्यूमन डिजीज एनी वन एनी वन हू कैन टेल मी द आंसर टू दिस प्रोटोजोआ फर्स्ट ह्यूमन डिजीज टू बी डिस्कवर्ड यस कम ऑन गाइज ओके सो वी हैव दीपिका वरियर अनिता कंचन एस एफ चौधरी यस 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 डॉक्टर जेड 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 आयशा यस यस आई होप आई एम क्लियर ओके कैन एनी वन टेल मी द प्रोटोजोआ फर्स्ट ह्यूमन डिजीज नो नो इट्स नॉट जेई इट इज नॉट जेई प्रोटोजोआ एंड फर्स्ट ह्यूमन डिजीज ओके दैट वॉज मलेरिया दैट वॉज मलेरिया जेम्स लिंड लुक इन टू इज चीक्स pink cheeks i am not talking about pink lips of sunny leone this was pink cheeks this was basically vitamin c consumption does not leads to scurvy that is bleeding gums this was the first ever clinical trial which we ever had now laveran charles alfonso laveran nobel prize for malaria as a protozoan discovered the malaria pro protozoan this was a inict question itself 2020 so sometimes you even inict prefers to ask us questions like this so definitely important for the neat exam this was the first time when the protozoa was basically basically shown to be a cause of a disease ronald ross life cycle of plasmodium in anopheles was also given the nobel prize so there were two nobel prizes which were given for malaria one for discovery in mosquito one in human Now tell me one thing, Deepika. Would you prefer to run away from your house with a man or a mosquito? I hope you are sensible enough to say man. So you will love to run with a human. So this is a very simple mnemonics, Deepika and friends ahead who can actually remember this. Mosquito Ross. It is in the name also. Yes, I hope I am clear. Yes. Okay. Sir, pollution. Me, kya question pooch sakte hain? AQI Delhi many questions of pollution don't worry i will i will post this pollution questions also yes pdf will be given relax don't worry yes first viral disease yellow fever absolutely right yes first viral disease yellow fever absolutely right okay look at samuel mills he said hand washing is important and the disease which he talked about was puerperal sepsis yes now over here we have three levels of learning yes one is cognitive effective and psychomotor now guys hand washing for doctors will be a psychomotor learning because we have nine different states of types of stages of hand washing when we talk about children so there was a neat question children being taught hand washing in school that is effective because it is the emotion of the child which is what is going to matter to us so effective was for children yes so i hope i am clear with this okay william bohr yes bohr committee this was the committee in 1946 it is the first committee of independent india who said establishment of sub center phc and chc yes phc and chc yes nishan shah pdf will be given pdf will be given pdf will be given just a second i'll just type that pdf will be given okay chill okay guys yes now let's come further iceberg phenomenon everybody knows that only 10% of the disease is visible whereas 90% of the disease is hidden so the tip of the iceberg is the 10% which is the clinical cases which is seen by the clinicians and the detection is done by diagnostic tests the submerged part is the 90% is the hidden cases yes is the hidden cases seen by epidemiologist using screening test so i hope you can understand that the work of a psm guy should technically be nine times more but we don't work you know it so the level of prevention is secondary because you are screening for disease you are screening for 
disease. There are classically four diseases where there is no iceberg phenomenon and therefore no screening. Yes, 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 measles, rubella, rabies and tetanus. Measles, rubella, rabies and tetanus. Classical four disease where there is no iceberg phenomenon and no screening. Now I put a star in measles because if they give this four options and they ask which shows iceberg phenomenon, then my answer will be rubella. But if there is some other option, then we will choose something else. Yes, I hope I am clear with this guys. No problem. Okay. Wheel theory. We all know that there was something called as a epidemiological triad. That is agent, host, environment and vector in the middle. This epidemiological triad was not a good answer to all the problems. Yes, and that is the reason, that is the reason we came up with the wheel theory. The outer component is the environmental component, whereas the central component is the genetic component. Your MCQ is generally this, that in the center we have genetics, in the outer part we have environmental component. Yes, okay. This is the health promotion emblem. This is the health promotion emblem. This was adopted in a city called as Ottawa. This was adopted in a city called as Ottawa. Yes. There are three basic strategies and five key themes. Now, we don't expect you to remember all this in detail. You will get such a kind of image and the question will be <coughs> where was this? adopted yes guys i hope everyone understands it yes okay switch of the chapter epidemiology if we look backward in time it is a case control study so in a case control study the keywords you should be looking is matching you should be looking asking exposure asking exposure Yes, you should be looking at it as a retrospective study. You should be looking as a calculation of odds ratio. So, these are some key points which will help you to identify case control study. Retrospective cohort, we go back and then come ahead in time. So, it goes from exposure to disease, but it has happened before the start of study, before the start of study. Prospective cohort, when both the exposure and disease have occurred after the start of study, there is one more type which is called as a ambispective cohort. In an ambispective cohort, the exposure has occurred before the start of study, but the disease has occurred after the start of study. Remember, the keyword for cohort <coughs> is follow up. Is follow up. Yes, guys, clinical trial. When there is an artificial intervention. So, in case of a clinical trial, we have a artificial intervention. Yes, guys. So, I hope all of you can recognize study design. It is a very, very important question. Generally, in your exam, you will have one or many times even two questions related to identification of study designs. Yes, guys. Okay. Over here, you can see we are talking about the population as a whole. And since we are talking about a population as a whole, it is a ecological study. It is a ecological study. Yes, Deepika, there is also a type of retrospective cohort. I made it very clear. There is also a type of a retrospective cohort. Case control is no doubt retrospective, but there is also a retro retrospective cohort as well. I hope I am clear Deepika, no doubt in it. Okay. Ecological study, we take population as a unit, whereas for all other study design, it is the individual. All other study designs. Yes, guys. Yes, I hope I am clear with this. Okay. Randomized control trial. So, we have patients, one will be the treatment arm. Another will be the control arm. We will follow up the participants and then we will compare the result. 
so cohort and rct are almost similar because both of them show follow up but the only difference with rct is in rct we have artificial intervention we have artificial intervention whereas in a cohort it is a natural intervention it is a natural intervention yes jagat jeevan in a retrospective cohort it is generally record based whereas in a case control the exposer is asked so when we ask about the exposer it is case control but if we check records it is retrospective so easiest way to remember this as a mnemonics is r e for record r e for retrospective cohort this is easy mnemonics to remember it whereas in case control we are asking about the exposure yes jagat i hope you are clear with it okay now gauri randomization is not the differentiating feature between a cohort and a clinical trial because we also have a non randomized clinical trial so if it is a non randomized one how will you differentiate it the difference is basically basically going to be with the type of intervention the type of intervention i hope i am clear with this yes the type of intervention is what is different over here <coughs> okay now systematic review meta analysis we will take different studies on a similar topic we'll combine the result and if we do meta analysis that is the statistical analysis it is called as meta analysis so compiling the data on the same topic from multiple sources is what is called as systematic review yes i hope i am clear with this dipika three types of blinding single blind only patient is blinded double blind patient and doctor is blinded the double blind is most common one yes whereas the three is patient doctor and the statistician yes i hope i am clear with this okay the images which we get in case of a systematic review meta analysis first is the forest plot now just remember one is the null value so if any study touches the null value this becomes statistically insignificant this becomes statistically insignificant so we have only two studies which are significant a very recent question had come they had given such a image and they had asked number of studies which are significant so i hope everybody can say two studies are significant here we have a summary measure which is a diamond shaped structure which is a diamond shaped structure yes in a diamond shaped structure if the relative risk or odds ratio is more than 1 equal to 1 less than 1 more than 1 risk factor equal to 1 null value less than 1 protective factor yes guys i hope everyone is clear with this no doubt in it at all yes now funnel plot this funnel plot is used to show publication bias suppose we were doing a interview that who would be winning the ipl this time all the news channels are saying chennai super kings mumbai indians gujarat titans there is one news channel which is saying royal challengers bangalore we know that we can never ever rcb can never ever <coughs> win it yes i hope it is clear yes i hope it is clear so this will become a outlier study which is a typical example of a publication bias and this is basically not seen on a funnel plot so we draw a funnel and if the study is outside it it is called as a funnel plot and a publication bias yes guys i would just request to all of you please do not type things which is not important as of now because i am at the same time seeing the chat so that i can answer your queries as well please do not <coughs> do not type yes please do not type useless things please it's a request as an elder brother because i am seeing that also please don't do okay look into this all of us know that when the prevalence goes up the ppv goes up 
yes and the npv comes down this can be represented on this particular image we have a prevalence as the prevalence is going up you can see the ppv is going up yes the ppv is going up whereas the npv is coming down yes guys no doubt in this okay look into this image this is the stage of susceptibility after which there is a exposure to a particular microorganism suppose this is a so once a microorganism suppose enters my mouth or enters my nose initially there will be subclinical disease once the subclinical disease is done we will have c which is onset of symptoms once symptoms come up then we have a stage of clinical disease after the clinical disease there can be either recovery or disability or death now the period from the stage of clinical disease to stage of subclinical disease to stage of clinical disease is called as lead time d is the usual point of diagnosis so if i diagnose it early at b the patient will get benefit and that is why this is called as lead time so early diagnosis leads to early treatment the patient's prognosis will improve yes so point a is the exposure time point b is the earliest point of diagnosis point c is onset of symptoms point d is usual point of diagnosis b to d indicate early diagnosis early treatment and that's why it is called as lead time yes guys i hope i am clear with this concept okay someone is asking me about meta analysis so let me first tell you about meta analysis before we go ahead see what is meta analysis now suppose in study 1 the sample size is 100 here it is 900 here it is 500 Here it is five hundred. This is the sample size. So hundred plus nine hundred is thousand. Fifteen hundred, two thousand. So the sample size is two thousand. So I will analyze the results on this two thousand sample. This is what is called as meta analysis. Now this is optional. You may or may not do it. That is what is called as meta analysis. Yes, guys. I hope it is clear with this. Okay. Now. what will be the critical point of diagnosis now diksha critical point of diagnosis for maximum diseases is generally somewhere around here but there are some diseases where you have to have a very small critical point just like golden time in mi and stroke the critical point is only 4 hours so in such cases it the critical point is only this much but it is specific for only few diseases <coughs> not all the diseases have this particular concept generally for diseases the critical point is very very far is generally very very far so if you talk about mi and stroke specifically suppose this is a critical point the benefit will happen only in this time which is called as screening time which is called as screening time i hope i'm clear with this gauri sorry diksha yes great okay now look into this whenever we vaccinate a child under the program we have to give four key message the sequence is not important the first key message which vaccine and what disease it prevents second what are minor side effects and how to manage it when to come for next visit when to come for next visit keep immunization card safely so you can get such a image where they can show you like this and they can say which of the following is not a key <coughs> message for vaccination given by your health worker at the time of vaccination yes guys just a second please <coughs> yes okay now look into the vaccine routes 90 degree and 
going inside the muscle this is intramuscular yes 45 degree going into the fat this is subcutaneous 15 degree going into the skin intradermal yes guys so i hope all of you can recognize the route of administration yes okay otherwise you can get this kind of image look over here i am holding the pen like a knife and just i am inserting it it is intramuscular intramuscular is the easiest injection trust me guys if anyone is troubling you take a pen and put it inside the person will leave you on spot yes intradermal and subcutaneous subcutaneous you can see we are making a angle nearly of 45 degree whereas intradermal is a very superficial one that is 15 degree yes guys now look into this this is a amber colored vial amber colored vial now amber colored vial why protection from sunlight there are three things which are to be protected from sunlight bcg mr vitamin a guys vitamin a is like a bottle how to differentiate a bcg from a mr can anyone tell me how to differentiate a bcg from a mr if i just give you this vial you cannot see the labeling so how will you differentiate a bcg from a mr anyone in this class okay cap what do you mean by cap dr m no 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 deepika not at all not at all wrong okay color explain dr m color cg there is a pustule initially or a blep or a blep yes guys okay rotavac monovalent why it is important because in pcv we give pcv 13 so it has got 13 different strains the change of color does not indicate change in potency rota is pink in color generally ipv you can see it is a orange cap ipv is this a orange cap yes yes shubham the video will be available online as well okay no problem in that okay look over here dpt is the green cap now this vvm what is vvm vaccine vial monitor you can have vvm over here you can have vvm at the top you can have vvm over here equal way to interpret it <coughs> okay look over here there is a center square a central square and there is a outer circle this central square which you see this central square is basically made of temperature sensitive material this central square is made of temperature sensitive material and since it is made up of temperature sensitive material it is basically going to be used with the change of color so whenever there is a color change this this basically what happens is just a second guys i came out of the link one second please yes okay so the inner square which is the central part it is 10% it is made of temperature sensitive material it changes color whenever the temperature changes yes now look over here still the square is lighter than the outer circle square is same color as outer circle square is darker stage 1 and stage 2 are good utilizable stage 3 and 4 not utilizable can anyone tell me which kind of scale is this is this a nominal scale a ordinal scale or a metric scale can anyone tell me this is it nominal is it ordinal is it metric Yes, guys. Anyone in this classroom who can tell me which kind of scale is VVM? A very, very tricky question. 
generally students say it to be an ordinal scale because it is stage 1 2 3 4 yes stage 1 2 3 4 wrong it is not a ordinal scale look 1 2 is usable 3 4 is not usable and that is the reason this is a tricky question it is actually a nominal scale no n o m i n a l do not get this simple question wrong because i could see many of you typing ordinal yes guys okay now shake test now suppose this is a vaccine vial and i see that the vaccine contents are settled down i will shake it now when i shake it if the contents are equally distributed i will use this but if it is still settled down i will discard it so you can see over here there is a thick segment i have shaked it if it is equally distributed i will use it <coughs> if it is settled down i would not use it this is basically done for t series vaccine the t series are the one which are impacted by temperature low temperature so penta tt hepatitis b and pcv and pcv so the only one which you should remember is pcv yes tracking bag this is a tracking bag what is the use of a tracking bag now i hope all of you understand that in a village there are many children yes so suppose in january abdul vivek and anita are eligible to get the vaccine so their immunization card will be kept in january in february suppose kalyani deepika and reformer are there so in february their cards will be kept so this tracking bag is a very easy way to tell the asha worker and the health worker female that this is when they have to contact a child for vaccination this is a very easy and cheap method unsafe practices first do not touch the needle generally you must have seen we have a habit of touching the needle like this we should not be doing this we are not supposed to recap because while recapping we might get a <coughs> prick so we are not supposed to recap we should not discard them in open cardboard and that is the why the needles are to be put in a white box are to be put up in a white box you should not leave the needle inside the vial and asha worker gets 50 rupees per immunization session per child yes per child okay now storage of vaccine cold box what is the use of cold box transport of vaccine from district hospital to chc or phc in this we have 16 to 20 ice packs this my dear students is a vaccine carrier it has got four ice packs it has got four ice packs what is the use this is used to transport the vaccine from chc phc till sub center now look in an ice pack there are two holes on surface why are these holes see basically there are few vaccines which require very less temperature what are those vaccines bcg mr opv so out of these three vaccines we prefer to keep them vaccines in the hole other vaccines are kept on the top or on the table yes this is the use of a ice pack this vaccine vial carrier if it is red color can anyone tell me where is a red color vaccine vial carrier used where is a red color vaccine vial carrier used anyone can tell me <coughs> yes z z z stool sample where stool sample where in polio and which is called as reverse cold chain day carrier in this we have only two ice packs the use of a day carrier is basically for transport from the chc or phc to house to house activity to house to house activity 
yes guys i hope i'm clear with this okay now ilr ice line refrigerator here we keep it in a criss cross manner we store the vaccine in a criss cross manner we use a dial thermometer to measure the temperature inside the ilr this is the ilr generally we have seen it in malls which is basically used to keep the ice creams walk in cold rooms this is made at a level of district hospital where we can walk inside the cold rooms so that we can store large amount of vaccines okay alcohol stem thermometer this is another thermometer one was dial thermometer one is a alcohol stem thermometer ilr temperature is plus 2 to plus 8 degrees celsius mcq in a deep freezer it is minus 15 to minus 25 because the use of a deep freezer is basically to make ice packs t series vaccine this is what is basically impacted by temperature and that is the reason we had discussed that we do a shake test to see whether these t series vaccine are properly usable or not even electronic vaccine intelligence network what is this your ilr is connected to a computer and this computer will send sos message i hope everybody understands what is sos distress or help message if temperature not in range of plus 2 to plus 8 degree celsius yes guys so if the temperature is not in this range this even will be sending a sos message yes guys now who gets this message the medical officer and the district immunization officer will get this message that please take action please take action in this phc the ilr temperature has fluctuated yes guys okay vitamin a 1 lakh or 1 ml which is given to less than 1 year 2 lakh or 2 ml which is given more than 1 year child <coughs> again this is amber color bottle now please remember once you open you have to use it within 8 weeks of opening yes this is a bottle and this is not stored inside ilr so it is kept in a cool dry place okay course after bcg papul ulcer scar 2 4 6 weeks so this is the process which you will be seeing in india we give bcg on the left side okay in india we give bcg on the left side why just to maintain a uniformity now so all of you can see there would be a scar over here if you do not have a scar don't worry you need not take a bcg again yes okay suppurative lymphadenitis in bcg this is a common complication which happens the child might develop a suppurative lymphadenitis mission in the dhanush everyone knows 5 saal 7 baar so basically a health worker gets seven chances to immunize a child who is less than 5 year old yes and the number of diseases 12 which is now covered how much will be the dose of vitamin a in less than 6 months 50 please try to understand piano world the problem with vitamin a dosing is <coughs> there is a difference in curative dose and a difference in preventive dose i am only talking about preventive dose under national immunization schedule curative dose you have to contact the ofta faculty you have to contact the ofta faculty okay there is a lot of confusion in this please understand there are two different doses i as a psm guy is only bothered about the preventive dose not the curative dose yes okay now types of epidemic curve yes rapid rise rapid fall point source epidemic there is single incubation period and we have only one curve yes now here rise and fall slowly so there are multiple curves which is more than one incubation period propagative epidemic something like this 
slow rise and slow fall which is more than one incubation period which is more than one incubation period yes guys now look over here continuous and common source epidemic point source epidemic and propagated epidemic okay someone is asking me to list the 12 vaccines okay the first is bcg tb then we have penta five diseases then we have mr two diseases j one disease polio one disease polio one disease pcv one disease rota one disease 1,2,3,4,6,11,12 I hope I have now finished the 12 diseases. Yes, I have finished the 12 diseases. Yes, Zubair. Anita, please wait. Let us go to the concerned chapter. Then you ask your doubt. Please let us not jump from one chapter to other. Please have patience. Yes, I hope it is clear. Okay. Types of curve. I hope everybody is clear with this. No doubt at all in this. Everyone should be clear with this. I am again repeating. If Deepika, you have only have any doubt with this. Point source epidemic, rapid rise, rapid fall in one incubation period. Common source epidemic, there will be rise but there will be multiple secondary ways. Yes. Propagated epidemic, slow rise, slow fall again, more than one incubation period. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Fine. Diksha, don't be sorry. It's just a request. It helps us to learn together. Yes, Deepika, I hope you are clear with the three diagrams I have explained again. Okay. Look into this. Measles rash. The easiest way to recognize measles is it is a confluent rash what does a confluent rash mean normal skin not visible normal skin is not visible yes it is dusky red maculopapular which begins behind the ear behind the ear it spreads rapidly Yes, it extends on the body, taking two to three days to progress. It disappears in the same order as leaving a brownish discoloration, which which persists for more than two months. Which persists for more than two months. Yes, guys. So no doubt in this. So we generally tell the ASHA workers. Yes, we generally tell the ASHA workers that this is the easiest way to recognize a measles rash because you can easily tell that you will never ever see. You will never ever see a normal skin. Yes, guys. You will never ever see a normal skin. Okay. <coughs> no problem in this. Yes. Because they will never understand all this maculopapular rash. Yes, maculopapular rash. Lymphadenopathy in measles. Only if there is secondary infection, you will have lymphadenopathy. Measles typically does not have lymphadenopathy as such. Yes, measles does not have a lymphadenopathy as such. Okay. Now, coplic spots. L, lower. Please let me make it clear. There is a lot of confusion with where the coplic spots are. It is in the lower part. Lower part. It is pathognomic. It is opposite the first and the second lower molar. It is like a table salt crystals. It appears on the buccal mucosa. Bluish white spots with a red base. So, we have bluish white spots with a red paste that is what is a coplic spot which is seen in measles. Yes, which is seen in measles. Okay. <coughs> now, classic triad of CRS, congenital rubella syndrome. We are having a cataract. We will have a cardiac anomaly and we will have deafness. This is the classic triad of congenital rubella. Yes. Okay. Swine flu. A pig photo with this. Now, suppose I remove the pig photo. Can anyone tell me then what will be the symbol? What will be the symbol if I remove the pig photo? Yes, yes, yes. Diksha, that question your pediatrics teacher should be answering. I am not the right person to answer it. Yes, I am sticking to PSM, preventive and social medicine. I am not pediatric surgery and medicine i hope you get it 
yes very good <coughs> it talks about biohazard it is not recycle kanchan it is not recycle it will be biohazard yes okay now look into the tobacco warning we had 0% tobacco warning then we made 40% india currently is having 85% on both sides 85% on both sides who plain packaging who plain packaging of tobacco product that is 100% yes that is 100% so you can get a image based question and you need to answer it accordingly okay who step wise question hai. this was a question of neat 2022 surveillance of non communicable disease risk factor three steps step 1 2 3 verbal physical biological it has three components core expanded optional yes so it is like a steps in a sequential manner we take the history verbal we ask the history okay vivek how much alcohol do you drink do you go to mcdonalds i'm just verbally asking vivek physical i will measure vivek's weight and the tummy size height to calculate bmi waist circumference biological i will be taking the blood sample this is who steps questionnaire okay rule of halves this rule of halves was given in hypertension but now <coughs> applicable for all non communicable diseases all non communicable diseases 50% of the people who are hypertensive know they have hypertension out of this 50% only 50% consume medicines out of this 50% only 50% consume adequate medicine out of those 50% who consume adequate medicine only 50% the bp is controlled yes i hope it is clear what is included in step siddhi i have very clearly shown this images from who there should be no confusion yes therapeutic or psychological that was a confusing question which was there in neat 2022 so the option recalls are a issue with that question the option recall is a issue with this question so let us not go into that option recall rather let us look into this so it is a questionnaire where we are looking into the risk factors so definitely therapeutic would not be included so if you ask me for a single answer i would say therapeutic would not be included because we are looking into risk factors we are not looking into the curative component yes i hope it makes sense okay tracking of bp if someone is low bp in childhood that person will have low bp in adulthood if someone is high bp in childhood that person will have a high bp in adulthood yes i hope it is clear i hope it is clear okay now herpendent skin calipers this is used for skin fold thickness the single best site the single best site is mid triceps it's mid triceps the other sites are <coughs> mid biceps mid biceps sub scapular sub scapular and supra iliac and supra iliac yes guys i hope i'm clear with this okay inap india newborn action plan what is the target we have to make the neonatal mortality rate and still birth rate less than 10 per 1000 live births by 2025 this is the only mcq which you will get from inap yes guys no problem okay jssk janani shishu suraksha karyakram 12 facilities six mother six child all free yes 
guys i would request you not to type if you don't have a doubt i know many of you know many things by this now please don't type if you don't have a doubt just have patience you can use a pen and paper and type and write over there rather than typing on the chat box because i as a teacher i'm also looking into your doubts so please 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 don't type it's a request yes okay yes is okay all free this is given to all females during anc during delivery and during pnc delivery if it is a nvd it is 2 days if it is cesarean it is 7 days plus infant the mother will get free diet <coughs> free drug free delivery services free diagnostics plus blood transfusion and free transport so janani shishu suraksha karyakram okay psf smy on the ninth of every month this is free anc to all females wherever doctor is present wherever doctor is present color coded program so if it is red it is high risk pregnancy it is red it is a high risk pregnancy if it is green it is normal pregnancy if it is blue it is pih yellow systemic diseases so nali it is one year no six months absolutely wrong jssk is one year till the age of child yes ruchita blood pressure wala rule of halves you need not know the calculations there is no need for you to know the calculation out of 100 people who are hypertensive 50 know they are hypertensive those 50 who know hypertensive take a medicine out of those 50 who take medicine only 50% will have a will have will be taking adequate medicine out of those 50 who will be taking adequate medicine only 50% will have a controlled blood pressure only 50% will have a controlled blood pressure i hope i am clear with this yes 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 no problem okay now pmmvy under this for the first child 5000 rupees is given in three installment three installment this is under the wcd ministry women and child development ministry generally all the programs are under ministry of health and family welfare this program is under the women and child development ministry first installment 1000 second installment 2000 third installment 2000 yes snehil in jssk asha worker is given zero asha worker is given zero in jssk yes so if she has done early registration of pregnancy which is less than 12 weeks pog 2000 if she has done anc checkup anc checkup after 6 months pog 2000 child birth is registered is registered and first dose vaccination is given priyanka you did not know vision of all the programs whatever i am telling you that is what is an mcq you need not know vision of all the programs please don't waste your time in actually reading useless things especially so close to the exam just highlighting the most important points yes guys okay portion 
प्रधानमंत्री ओवर आर्चिंग स्कीम फॉर होलिस्टिक नरिशमेंट सही पोषण देश ऋतिक रोशन नो सही पोषण देश रोशन अनिमिया मुक्त भारत प्रोग्राम नेम इज आई नी पी विच स्टैंड फॉर इंटेन्सिफाइड नैशनल आयरन प्लस इनिशिएटिव इंटेन्सिफाइड नैशनल आयरन प्लस इनिशिएटिव इट हेज गॉट अक्स इंटू सिक्स इंटू सिक्स स्ट्रैटेजीज सिक्स इंटरवेंशन्स आयरन एंड फॉलिक एसिड डी वर्मिंग अनिमिया ट्रीटमेंट बिहेवियर चेंज कम्युनिकेशन कैम्पेन बिहेवियर चेंज कम्युनिकेशन कैम्पेन आयरन फोर्टिफाइड फूड्स आयरन फोर्टिफाइड फूड्स एंड सिक्स इज नॉन न्यूट्रिशनल कॉजेस ऑफ नॉन न्यूट्रिशन कॉजेस ऑफ anemia okay janvi i'll pay attention to that non nutritional causes of anemia we have three non nutritional causes fluorosis fluorosis sickle cell anemia and malaria who are the six beneficiaries Six to fifty-nine months, five to nine years, ten to nineteen years. Here, both males and females are covered. Females in reproductive age group. Females in reproductive age group. Twenty to forty-four years, pregnant and lactating. Pregnant and lactating. Okay. Look into this. This is the red color tablet. This is the blue color tablet. This is the pink color tablet. Red color tablet is given to all. That's how we remember it. so basically pregnant and lactating we'll get the red color tablet adolescents we'll get the blue color tablet this is given under wips weekly iron and folic acid supplementation pink color tablets is given at 10 to 9 sorry pink color tablets is given at 5 to 9 years the dose of red and blue is 60 mg iron plus 500 microgram of folic acid pink we have 45 mg iron plus 400 microgram of folic acid yes guys i hope i'm clear with this laksh labor room quality improvement initiative so under this we are trying to improve the quality of labor rooms if we improve the quality of labor rooms our maternal mortality morbidity and pediatric maternal pediatric mortality and morbidity will decrease hppnc this was given by a ngo called search in gadchiroli under this the asha worker makes home visits to provide facility or care at home seven visit if it is home delivery six visit if it is hospital and it is a nvd 
फाइव विजिट हॉस्पिटल सिजेरियन वट इज द शेड्यूल डे वन थ्री सेवन फोर्टीन ट्वेंटी वन ट्वेंटी एट फोर्टी टू सो दिस इज द शेड्यूल फॉर एच पी पी एन सी विजिट्स यस ना उज्ज्वला एवरी वन कैन सी नाउ दिस इज टू पॉइंट ओ इन दिस वी हैव फ्री एल पी जी कनेक्शन टू बिलो पॉवर्टी लाइन फीमेल्स फ्री फर्स्ट रिफिल एंड फ्री हॉट प्लेट ना वॉट इज अ हॉट प्लेट इलेक्ट्रिक स्टोव अ इलेक्ट्रिक स्टोव यस उजाला उन्नत ज्योति बाय एफोर्डेबल एलईडी फॉर ऑल डीईएलपी डोमेस्टिक एफिशियंट लाइटिंग प्रोग्राम अंडर दिस वी गेट फ्री एलईडी यस ऊर्जा आई है रिटर्न द शेड्यूल इट इज नॉट फॉर सर्च सर्च इज द नेम ऑफ द एनजीओ सर्च इज द नेम ऑफ द एनजीओ ओके ओके ना फ्री एलईडी फॉर ऑल Yes. Okay. Free days. Sanitary napkins. This is given by Asha workers <coughs> to adolescent females at the rate of one rupees per pad. At the rate of one rupees per pad. This is the non-biodegradable. this is the non biodegradable i didn't get your question yashra in which are you asking about register and register where can you please clarify your question okay suvidha the only difference is this is biodegradable otherwise there is no difference now between suvidha and freedas no difference the only di difference is in biodegradability okay now we don't have rsby so if you are solving old mcqs you will see many questions on rsby we don't have we now have ayushman bharat pmj pradhan mantri jan arogya yojana under this each family will get 5 lakh rupees per family per year this covers all family members pre existing disease pre existing disease is covered it is generally for below poverty line families under this secondary hospitalization is free secondary hospitalization is free and there are list of Thirteen hundred procedures free in tertiary hospital. Yes, guys. I hope everyone is free with this. Is clear with this? Okay. This is polio. Two boon zindagi ke. This is biohazard. If we had a pig in the middle, it was swine flu. This is for recycle. This is ICDS. this is under wcd ministry this is nuclear waste this is unicef this leaves which you see is olive leaf who theme 2023 recent update health for all health for all is the recent update which we have it is health for all yes this is npcbvi ilo international labor organization yes okay sapna she is the mascot for leprosy free india she is the mascot for leprosy free india this is the new logo for tb 
NTEP National Tuberculosis Elimination Program TB Mukt Bharat Yes, TB Mukt Bharat Okay <coughs> Under this For the continuation phase We are giving 3 FDC H, R and E 3 FDC They are smaller tablets as compared to the 4 FDCs Yes 4 FDC tablet is basically given in Intensive phase Four drugs H, R, Z, E. This is FDC, a fixed dose combination. A fixed dose combination. Now, you can get a question like this. If it is 4, it will be larger. Yes. If it is 3, it will be smaller. Guys, can you please wait? Let us not jump topics. If I am in health programs talking about TB, let's just stick to those doubts. We can take your doubts. After the session, in the telegram group as well, just please have patience guys. Please, please do not jump. It is not possible for any teacher to jump like this. Okay. Now, anti-TB schedule 9 and anti-TB schedule 10. Anti-TB schedule 9, intensive phase. Anti-TB schedule 10, continuation phase. So, this is the name of the medicine strips. Now, when we talk about TB and HIV, TB, HIV, rapid diagnosis by CBNAT. HIV is diagnosed only by CBNAT. We do not use X-ray or sputum examination. Yes. Daily fixed dose combination has to be given for HIV and TB. We are giving daily fixed combination for HIV and TB. 99 dots. All of you know. So, when you remove the medicine, there will be an unknown number visible on which the person can give a missed call. On receiving the missed call, basically the person would be <coughs> the person at Delhi would know that a person in a rural setup has taken the medicine because on the computer when the missed call is received the color will change. Pharmacovigilance because TBHIV has specific side effects. Isoniazid preventive therapy because tuberculosis is the most common opportunistic infection in case of TB. So we are giving isoniazid preventive therapy. Now please remember if there is co-infection start ATT first for 14 days and then ART because if you give the ART first you will be in trouble there will be immune reconstitution syndrome yes okay national vector bond disease control program you can see there is a mosquito with a couple and the child yes under this all are due to mosquito except Kalazar which is basically due to sand fly which is basically due to sand fly nsap 5 has come now yes we don't have nsap 4 anymore nsap 5 under naco national aids control organization yes okay nlep this is the lotus flower this is the lotus flower okay so since it is the lotus flower, it talks about leprosy. It talks about leprosy. <coughs> okay. Now, this is the family planning slogan or the family planning logo. Yes. Zimmetari badhao, plan banao. Yes. So, let's make a plan. Let's make a plan. It is a good habit. It is a good habit. This is an inverted triangle. This is an inverted triangle. Yes. I hope it is clear. Yes. Okay. Sir, do we have to know all leaf and flowers name in logos? No, no, no. Only the important ones. SF, only the important ones. Okay. Antara. This is injectable DMPA. Depot, Metroxy, Progestron, Acetate, Chaya, this is Centrochroman, older name was Saheli, older name was Saheli, Infantometer, this is used to measure length, in the age group of 0 to 2 year, Stadiometer, more than 2 year, okay. This is the logo of a under 5 clinic. 
number of triangles there are five triangles in it one two three four and the big triangle is the fifth one so generally the question if an image based question come come this is a logo for under five clinic yes okay shaky step this measures the mid arm circumference color coded more than 13.5 green normal 12.5 to 13.5 yellow moderate less than 12.5 red severe please have a look we do not have a mild malnutrition now under program the answer is less than 12.5 indian academy of pediatrics considered as less than 11.5 cut off for sam please remember single best answer is as per program <coughs> there should be no confusion with this whenever there is a controversy always stick to the program because the program is what the government is actually giving you is the program is what the government is actually giving you yes guys okay growth chart same red yellow green color coded just like this the only difference is we have a z score so moderate minus 2 to minus 3 this more than minus 2 here less than minus 3 yes so z score based chart is what we are using now we do not use the percentile based growth charts we are no more using the percentile based growth charts or the road to health growth charts we don't use this anymore yes guys so there should be no confusion with this okay kangaru mother care look over here this is also called as warm chain it has got four components skin to skin contact adequate nutrition in form of exclusive breastfeeding early discharge for better care of mother support for mother and family support from mother and family attachment of baby on mother's breast <coughs> again four signs the baby's mouth should be open lower lip should be inverted baby's chin should be touching the mother's breast majority of areola should be in baby's mouth you can get a image like this and they can say what is the problem look over here the baby's chin is not touching the mother's breast yes salter scale this is basically used to measure the weight of the baby my plate earlier we used to have the food pyramid yes now the food pyramid is no more used now we are using the newer model which is called as my plate model fruit should be 150 grams pulses eggs and flesh should be 90 grams yes nuts nuts and seeds 20 grams fats and all 27 grams cereals and nut nutrients 270 grams vegetables is 350 grams yes zubair it should be like this now you know better english whether it is inverted or everted so it is everted everted okay zubair <coughs> okay trans fat free logo so i hope girls you are looking into this logo before you actually eat any kind of processed food smiling sun this is a feature of national iodine deficiency disorder control program fssi food safety and standards authority of india this is under the ministry of health and family welfare every food item will have now a logo of fssai yes okay look into this you will get an arrow over here this my dear students is the nalgonda technique for defloridation for defloridation reverse order we'll first add lime and then we will add alum yes okay lactometer this is basically to look how much water has been added to the milk how much water has been added to the milk veg non veg i hope everybody knows this logo yes it's a different thing many of you are vegetarian but think non vegetarian we are medicos we will always think non vegetarian this is logo for tetra pack you will get only this this is logo for <coughs> tetra pack lathirism you can see the person is holding lathi lathirism neuro lathirism very common in chatisgarh kesari dal kesari dal the toxin responsible is boa beta oxalyl amino alanine beta oxalyl amino alanine and it causes spastic paralysis 
it causes spastic paralysis yes okay epidemic dropsy drop hand drop foot drop because there is edema water will get collected the hands and ear will be active so it will fall the active reagent is sanguinarin basically contamination of mustard oil with argimum oil the detection is by nitric acid test paper chromatography is best but it is costly this is by by strict enform enforcement of preventing of any form of adulteration yes so there is pitting edema and there will be foot drop and hand drop in this argot poisoning the periphery will become totally black yes now the person typically will talk about peripheral vascular disease and diarrhea and abdominal complaints yes endemic ascites you can see ascites water is filled in the tummy this is basically because of pyrozolidone toxin crotalaria crotalaria mortality is very high mortality is around 40% see, this is one of those those food nutrients where the mortality levels are very very high yes in this we have to be very careful about educating people yes about educating people for preventing of this now to look into the amount of iodine the guideline said at production it should be 30 ppm at consumption it should be 15 ppm how do you check it will become deep blue in color it will become deep blue in color yes midday meal see everyone is sitting around this is under ministry of education it is no more under hrd ministry it is no more under hrd ministry okay instruments used for chlorination of water horox apparatus chlorine demand estimation there are 7 cups in a horox apparatus n into 2 g is used for 455 liter of water what is n n refers to the number of first cup with distinct blue color with distinct blue color chlorinator or chlorono this is used for mixing or regulating the chlorine dose chloroscope this is used for measuring the residual chlorine level chloroscope all of us know normal drinking water it is 0.5 post disaster 0.7 swimming pool 1 cholera outbreak 2 cyclops 5 i hope everybody knows the above two is drinkable below is not drinkable okay there's a discussion which is going on regarding midday meal protein now please understand a very simple mnemonics for the midday meal protein energy malnutrition so we give first p comes so more protein so half protein that is energy is 1/3 so energy is given in form of carbohydrates this is a very easy way to remember <coughs> which is given how much yes okay now look into this reagent this reagent is ota ortho toluene arsenide this gives amount of free n residual chlorine separately yes guys this amount gives you the amounts of free and residual chlorine separately okay simon's rain gauge this is basically used to see precipitation how much is the rain snowfall ml we look into that what is the size of the funnel the diameter is 5 inches the diameter is 5 inches yes okay air temperature globe thermometer mean radiant temperature wet globe environmental heat heat stress indicator index is 40 to 60 is not fit for work not fit for work 
Kanchan, can you name the name of the slide? I cannot understand what is the last slide because there is a time lag. So, can you just tell me which is the slide name? Slide name. Okay. Kata thermometer. Cooling power of air. So, you can remember K for Kata. K for cooling power. This cooling power includes TMH. Temperature, movement, humidity. This can also be used to measure low air velocity. This can also be used to measure low air velocity. Air velocity. This is measured by anemometer. So, basically with the speed of the air this will start rotating round and round and round yes okay. air humidity moisture content psychrometer so basically it looks like a thermometer but here we have hygroscopic substance hygroscopic substance which absorbs moisture which absorbs moisture air pressure barometer and barograph it is basically used to measure the pressure wind wind direction of wind okay sound level meter it will tell you the intensity of sound being produced at an area venturi meter this is used in slow sand filter slow sand filter this is basically used to measure bed resistance this is basically used to measure bed resistance so what is the flow of water what is the speed of flow of water that will be what is be told by venturi meter anopheles sits at an angle culex there is a hump there is a hump it is striped mosquitoes this is also called as tiger mosquitoes. This is also called as tiger mosquitoes. Anopheles larva parallel to surface. Parallel to surface. So the benefit of this is this basically anti larvals anti larvals have maximum impact okay culex perpendicular it is is also perpendicular larvicidal fishes yes we have gambusia guppy lebister also called as <coughs> Barbados Millions. Yes, okay. Someone is asking me to show the video for spotted wings found in which mosquito. Okay, buddy, for the details of mosquito, I have given a table. For the details of mosquito, I have given a table. You can just have a look into that. Okay, so don't worry. Don't worry at all. Okay, don't worry at all those things we will, we will be covering trust me you can never ever recognize from an image whether it is spotted wings or not yes yes okay now rat flea it is responsible for plague typically looks like a rat yes okay head louse look into tentacles there are tentacles scissors like heart tick I hope everybody knows what are the diseases caused by ticks. Yes, there is again a list. I hope everybody knows it. Okay. CC fly. CC fly causes sleeping sickness. Causes sleeping sickness. Itch mite. Causes scabies. Itch mite causes scabies. Cyclops. Drag. Kunculiasis, also called as fish tapeworm or guinea worm or guinea worm. Sandfly, lot of hairs on the body. It breeds in cracks and crevices, and that's the reason 
plastering of walls is very important plastering is very important bite of the female legs are twice as that of the body <coughs> it is flame shaped or lanceolate shaped wings fine hairs the sanitation measure is for 50 feet now remember even though it is called sand fly it does not fly it hops it just jumps it is very small, very small as compared to that of a mosquito. The bite is very painful. Maximum biting potential, that's the reason happens only in the legs. Because they are only jumping, they are not flying at all. Yes? Okay. This is a trombiculate mite. How do we recognize it? By a T-shaped structure on its back. Redovic bug, black fly. Black fly causes onchocerciasis. Onco sarcasis or river blindness not seen in India. Yes, Reduvik bug causes Chagas disease. Reduvik bug is Chagas disease. DDT is a powder. DDT is a powder. The residual action is 18 months. Yes, 18 months. BHC is a lotion. BHC is a lotion abate is a liquid paris green green powder this is basically used as anti larval this is basically used as anti larval yes okay color coding red extremely toxic zinc phosphide rat killer yellow highly toxic endosulfan blue moderately toxic malathion Green, slightly toxic, mosquito repellents. So, if you get any patient in the emergency who has taken mosquito repellent and has come in the night, ensure that you give that person zinc phosphide. Because that person has googled and has known that if the person takes mosquito repellents, he or she will never die. Yes, guys, I hope I'm clear with this. Okay. Now, the different color beans. Black. This is for general waste. This is for general waste now blue this is for glasswares and metallic body implants yellow whatever you to want to burn in your life red whatever you want to recycle whatever you want to Recycle. Re for red. Re for recycle. Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. I hope. Plaster of Paris. There is no point in recycling it. You will burn it. You will burn it. Yes. So in that we are basically going to put it in <coughs> yellow. Yes. Blood stained gloves. Already it is blood stained. <coughs> that is the reason we put it in yellow. Okay, guys. Okay. Biohazard. Cytotoxic. C. So these are the logos for it. Okay. Radiation hazard. We have radiation. Non-ionizing radiation. This is the symbol. Non-ionizing radiation. This is the symbol. Now, can anyone tell me what am I trying to depict over here with the data? Which measure of statistics am I trying to depict in this data? Pacemaker is a metal, so it will go into blue. It will go into blue. Implants will go into blue. Implants will go into blue. Yes. Okay. Look into this. <coughs> Look into this and tell me which data am I trying to show of statistics? Of statistics. Yes. What am I trying to show of statistics over here? Very good. I am trying to show an outlier. Shubman Gill, only person who has scored a double century. Just all were dumb morons, scoring either a single or a double digit only. Yes, guys, I hope I am clear with this. Okay. This is a standard normal curve 50%, 50%. There is a symmetry. Mean median mode is at a center. This is a standard normal curve. Yes, guys. Okay. Now, can anyone tell me what is the order of scale? Is it nominal, ordinal, or metric? Deepika expired drugs in yellow. Expired drugs in yellow. You burn it. Nothing more to be done. Nothing more to be done. Yes, guys. Okay, can anyone tell me what is the <coughs> scale which we are showing? 
very good this is a ordinal scale you can show c over here yes this will be the condition when many of you will be joining post graduation as obstetrician yes gradually will look duller with a lot of efforts and works okay this is a multiple bar chart simple bar chart this is a component bar chart this is a component bar chart this is a pie chart this is a pictogram simplest for depiction this is a spot map geographical distribution of data histogram we should be joining the midpoints if we join the midpoints the image which will be developed is a frequency polygon or a curve <coughs> yes okay we give it is a cumulative frequency polygon where we are joining everything maximum values coming as 100% 100% now this is a normal curve where mean is equal to median is equal to mode yes guys here mean is the least no mean is maximum because mean is this line yes then median then mode look over here the mean is minimum yes then we have median then we have the mode yes remember whichever side you see the skewness the mean will always be on that side so if it is a right skewed mean will be on the right if it is a left skewed mean will be on the left yes this is bimodal mean is equal to median mean is equal to median not equal to mode so we have mode over here yes and mean and median are equal yes guys i hope it is clear i hope it is clear yes sir how to remember this skewed it is very simple please try to understand <coughs> what is median <coughs> what is median median is anything which comes in middle middle of what mean and the mode i hope i am clear with this there is no doubt with it now the second thing i would like to tell you is the median will always come in the middle whichever is the side of skewness if it is a right skewed the mean will be on right side if it is a left skewed the mean will be on the left side i hope i'm clear with this i hope it's clear with this no doubt in this madhab yes okay look into this this is a stem and leaf diagram this side we have stem and this side we have leaf this is a tree diagram which talks about progression which talks about progression this is also a tree diagram which again talks about progression this is a scatter diagram this is a scatter diagram going up positive coming down negative very less scattering so strong bigger scattering moderate absolute scattering brownian motion it is no correlation similarly more scattering downwards moderate negative less scattering strong negative this is curvy linear that is non linear scattering non linear scattering yes guys okay so non linear there will be a pattern which is formed no correlation a random haphazard dots this is a box and whisker plot in a box and whisker plot we have 25% that is the depict quartiles the same can be shown in a cumulative frequency polygon where it is 100% so 25 25 25 25 it can also be shown on a standard normal curve where we have 
ट्वेंटी फाइव इच योर क्यू वन टू क्यू थ्री दिस इज कॉल्ड एज इंटर क्वार्टाइल रेंज क्यू थ्री माइनस क्यू वन आई क्यू आर आई क्यू आर नॉर्मल डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन फोर पार्ट विल बी इक्वल इफ इट इज अ पॉजिटिव स्क्यूड देर विल बी एलोंगेशन ऑन द राइट साइड दिस पॉजिटिव स्क्यूड इज ऑल्सो कॉल्ड एज राइट स्क्यूड लेफ्ट स्क्यूड इज ऑल्सो कॉल्ड एज नेगेटिव स्क्यूड एलोंगेशन ऑन द लेफ्ट साइड सो प्लीज रिमेंबर इफ दिस इज अ राइट स्क्यूड डायग्राम द टेल इज ऑन द राइट साइड सो द बॉक्स विस्क विल ऑल्सो बी एलोंगेटेड ऑन द राइट साइड इन ए लेफ्ट स्क्यूड द elongation is on the left side so box whisker will also be elongated on the left side these are easy ways to remember okay so i hope you can see over here elongation is on the left side elongation is on the right side this is what is a box whisker diagram yes yes okay this when you will have such data this data is called as a outlier this data is called as a outlier now look over here there is elongation now how to read it you should rotate 90 degree clockwise now if you rotate this diagram 90 degree clockwise the image will be something like this and i hope you can make out it is a left skewed image it is a left skewed image yes guys okay this is a symposium or a panel discussion the second one is a focus group discussion where we have 6 to 12 participants and they should know each other from before this is basically a workshop so i hope everyone is clear with these images yes okay this is a flip chart this is a flash card yes over here we are actually using a flannel graph flannel graph yes please don't spam i have read it once and please wait at the end i will ask your doubts please do not ask doubts not related to the topic please wait spikes model spikes is basically used for breaking bad news which is used in cancer s p i k e s setting perception invitation knowledge empathy summary spikes model is basically used to deliver bad news yes okay this is who we know cdc headquarters in <coughs> us unicef international health regulations please remember guys for your exam you are going to have some must no topics yes you cannot miss out on must no topics there will be some topics where you should know it and that is why we are taking these special kinds of session there are some topics which is better if you know like sccm model there are some topics which should be unknown so please remember at this time of pg you have to follow the maslow's pyramid and why am i using the digital one please uninstall all the stupid apps for now yes here i come to the end of my session but now i will take doubts from you guys now i will take the doubts from you guys okay so please wait let me take the doubts which you guys have okay so the first doubt was sccm the second doubt was someone was having issues with quartiles okay please now you can type your doubts i will be do it yes <coughs> i will be listing the doubts and i will be answering it okay okay now there is a doll and hill criteria i hope everybody knows this in the doll and hill criteria there is one criteria which is specificity 
in specificity it says one risk factor leads to one disease this can't be proved for non communicable diseases at all and that is the reason there was a scientist called as rothman who gave the concept of sccm sufficient cause component model sufficient cause component model he said that for any disease let us talk about hiv you will have high risk behavior high risk behavior you will have unprotected intercourse unprotected intercourse and you will have suppose commercial sex worker this is what is going to lead to hiv and this can be demonstrated on a pie chart this my dear students is the sccm model yes guys second quartiles i divide this into four parts first part second part third part fourth part if i join from q1 to q3 this becomes a box and whisker plot this box and whisker plot is for normal one now if i draw it vertically i just need to rotate vertical end by 90 degree clockwise so skewed box and whisker this is a left skewed this is a right skewed yes guys okay now for rest of your doubts i can see you guys have not revised your psm note properly and you are asking concepts which takes 1 1 hours to explain yes someone is asking null hypothesis there is a separate video on null hypothesis on, on youtube by me you can just go there and see same for statistical tests so guys please put effort because these are bread butter questions but still if you have doubt please feel free to ping me on my whatsapp whatever it is or on the dams exclusive club at the rate siddharth shekhar mishra yes this is all from my side guys this is just a quick revision i am not teaching you psm yes so if you have any doubts with the subject please feel free to ping me i will explain you personally in detail because i don't want to spoil the group by telling you theoretical facts that's all from my side thank you and bye bye and all the best all the best i hope you guys will burn up with the session guys aag laga dena please do not miss out on any aspect yes i hope it's okay with you i hope it is okay with you guys please please understand rapid revision dvt pyq this session but you cannot skip out with your notes psm is a very big subject please 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 remember psm is a big subject please do not mess about it yes updates covered in dvt is more than enough please do not worry for any other updates i hope it's good done guys see you and bye bye